Hey all, it's Friday yet again. New Year's happened on Monday and uh, my mom's birthday was on, oh goodness, Wednesday, yesterday. She would have been 86. Um, she died almost four years ago now. Right literally in the first week of all the COVID restrictions descending upon the U.S. and uh, in a lot of ways it was merciful because she had some pretty advanced uh, Alzheimer's and uh, it was a rough time. So it really was kind of a merciful thing that she didn't have to go through that because she sure wouldn't have understood what was going on. She didn't understand life even when it was working like regular. <laughs> she was a remarkable woman in a lot of ways. And so much of the core of who she was has really grown in me. And what's really interesting, she grew up in central Washington state, um, daughter of orchardists. You know, her dad had a saw shop that he ran, chainsaws, and maintained them and sold them and stuff. And they had a good life, a very intact, you know, family, hardworking people, um, people of faith, German ancestry. And uh, mom was the oldest of the five kids, and she was bold. <laughs> As a young woman, she was very brave, and she took leaps that uh, she would have been, you know, by the time we were doing it, terrified about us taking. You know, it's interesting. I mean, to grow up in uh, Little Dinky, Peshastin, and Wenatchee, Washington, you know, these towns were tiny little orcharding ag communities at the time. And uh, she got married right out of high school, moved to New York with her new husband. And I don't think it was even a year before she filed for divorce. It wasn't working out. And uh, she moved back. And... And, you know, I don't know all the details of her story like my sister does. I know a lot of them, but I'm not going to go into them. The interesting thing is, and you know, I wish so much I, she had still had all her mental capacities at the point that I started doing the deep work that I did post-divorce, post-separation. Because there's so much I'd like to ask her. Because over time... While she was an absolutely wonderful mom and super good to us and always believed in us, always encouraged us, uh, as time progressed in life, she got more and more fearful. You know, she had a lot of big, dramatic, sad stuff that happened in her uh, relationships in her life. And, you know, that's always really, really tough. Now, we've all been through that stuff, and it really forms you. It really changes how you move forward. And, you know, and you either blossom in the change and address the issues and make big changes and it gets better, or you kind of cower back, or you give up, you know. And in a lot of ways, where relationships are concerned, Mom had had such bad turns, she pretty much uh, gave up on it and just focused on our relationships uh, with family and with me and my sister, which is totally valid. I mean, and she was happy her last 20 years post-work, uh, post-retirement, you know, until the dementia really started hitting. That wasn't happy. But the interesting thing is, though, so as a young woman, she started out really brave and uh, was known as the family in you know, a wild child. <laughs> and as a young man in my 20s, you know, I went through a lot of the stuff as a result of her relationship choices that made me extremely fearful. I started out my life super fearful as an adult, as a young adult, and made terrible choices based in fear. And it's funny, people who knew me back then thought I was really fearless. In reality, was completely the opposite. I was very fearful. And, uh, God, it sucked. So, looking back now at my life where I'm at now, I've come completely the other direction. So, she started out life 
brave and open and embracing every change or every challenge that came along as an opportunity. And then as life really smacked her down, that kind of uh, took its toll in a sad way on her. I mean, please don't get me wrong, she was happy with her life, but when I think back to how it manifested in my early years, I feel like she was sad in a lot of ways, you know? Women of great faith and everything, but, you know, she never got really what she wanted, except for she always wanted a son and a daughter. She did get that, and we were her joy, and I can relate to that, because my kids are my absolute joy. I totally understand that. Um, but it's been amazing to see my life take the opposite flow. It started out fearful. It's gotten to a place now with all that's happened in my life where I'm the opposite. I'm very, very open and, you know, willing to, to embrace change and things that come along and very risk tolerant. And that was not her thing. <laughs> Not at all. Not in the uh, second half of her life. So it's it's interesting to me. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about her. I love her so much. And nobody ever believed in me more than she did. I made choices that terrified her sometimes. Huh. But I believe she would have loved me through anything. There's nothing I could have done. And this is how it is with me and my kids. Where my love would have ever broken them and it her love for me never it didn't matter what I did she was going to be open to it and embrace it <clears throat> because she loved me that was one thing she had down absolute 100% is she loved me and my sister absolutely unconditionally and I think that's the greatest lesson I've learned from my mom is to treat everyone with respect, kindness, and love. I mean, in her last few years, she was just beloved by the businesses she frequented. <laughs> it was amazing. So yeah, my mom was a whole lot of love. That was one thing she knew how to do. And uh, that's, I think, the most important thing. And it's the part of her legacy that I really feel honored to carry forward. And uh, anyway, just wanted to kind of say all this because uh, I love her and I miss her. I still feel her riding shotgun with me. There are moments when I literally feel it like, wow, you're here. Hope you're enjoying the ride <laughs> as much as I am. And thank you, Mom, for all the ways you love me and all the ways you took such amazing care of me and my sister. I love ya. So, that is your dispatch, your video dispatch of the week, coming to you from Miramar Beach in Half Moon Bay. Back to the city uh, tomorrow. Well, by the time this video posts, I'll be back in the city and on it. So, wishing you all a great weekend.